yes. Your pardon? Well, look who's here! The White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? How's business? Really? That's the best you've got. That's like asking a fisherman if they're biting, or an old gran about her health. Business is booming. There's profit to be made from war, provided you've the know-how. Before Nilfgaard had even crossed the pond tar, I'd contracted for insured deliveries of wood and iron from Kovir. Reaped a sevenfold return on my investment. Nice. So you might think, but then there's the non-human poll tax, the church's tithe, war taxes, and my overhead. Subtract all that and you're left with a pittance, a dozen or so chests and no more. time. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Here. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer.
1245 to 1254. Hmm. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Merigo. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Alright, I lied. But only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though, to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. 
suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive with my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit of Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell... <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hope not. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something.
still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. For the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Chris Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches? They murder kings. Scheme. Start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, Ginger Whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine. Grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Eternal flame will burn ah! Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Enough of this charade. What are you on about? Watch and learn.
I think that's all of them. That was close. I must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body, you search the room. I'd start with the desk. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga. From someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? 
Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Betty does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate.
Well? Well?
This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. You there! Mr. Reuven wants a word! Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. As soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. A key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever.
eternal fire. Father of all, hear my prayer. Grant my plea. Bring my husband back to health. He's a good man. Honestly, righteous. Eternal fire, you are my only hope. Praise the eternal fire. Only fire. The bloody presence is an affront to the eternal fire. Be the drop box. Deliver us from evil. Gave the signal. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. Ladies, mutants, blasphemers, cobras. <laughs> He's a war veteran. Spare me, Cran. My wife's mum's an old succubus. Oh! Let me know his wounds. Get out of Rivia. Happiness will come today. Ooh! Just to hide and wait. Blind man would even spot me here. the door. Best place to hide. Classic. Chris, how'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner, lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Had enough? Fuck off! 
I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. <laughs> You must be thinking, this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. Ah, enough! Uh, enough! So, gonna talk? Uh, yes! Yes! You just tell me what the fuck about! We're looking for Dandelion. We know Manka captured him. What? What? What this is all about? A fucking minstrel! The amount I set up at the start! Before your bloody started mucking my mind with magic! I, I can't believe it! For a miserable sap like that! Get to the point. The dandelion is on Temple Isle. In the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menga is planning to execute him in Oxen Burnt. Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Manga's orders. If you did person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume? We can put this unfortunate incident behind us. Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. But why? I told you. I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But... But I helped you. I helped... It's not so bad. I promise. Peace, slay, and gave... feel base cruel vile i could go on but i need to get out of here now go home bathe then drink myself to oblivion said you had an idea about freeing dandelion yes we know he's on the island and he'll stay there until manga orders him transferred to oxenford right mm-hmm Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here.
Looks like rain. It's clear as the eternal fire. Nice jest. No jest, sadly. But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Dudu. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri. Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horse and Junior. He might know something. Take care now. Help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witchers earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for, anyways? To help men in need. Fine, take this. Well, that's what I call loyalty to the guild. Thank you, Master. We'll knock one back in your honor. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skelliger. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Well, did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skelliger for a lifetime.
Captain in this tub. What's it to you? I'm Skelliger bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverston from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him.
Kristen, captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverstone? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig, carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Gotta get more coin. You sure do. For I won't even whip me horse in a bath without payment in advance. Non-human I am. Look for your kind beyond the walls. always got it up there. What happened, kid? <laughs> they... they... <laughs>
Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him is a good idea. Don't like this at all. But you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Trace. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. I think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there.
jerkins. Interesting. Yeah? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. How could you? From you. I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye. You're surely right, Miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagelbud... So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the Guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the Guardsmen. Since the Hunters paid for every mage revealed to her. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts. And the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals or blue roses from this air. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Bagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. Eighty-five desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at twenty-two inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Uh. 
Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. So long. Someone's in a good mood. So? Nothing. Just, you look good when you're giddy. You get everything? Everything's ready. We can go. Just a shame you didn't dress up like I asked. Really expected me to show up in a lacework collar? Ruffles on my trousers? You'd even look great wearing a bustle. Dad, I want to know what that is. For now, you'll just have to survive on bread and witcher. Well then, shall we go?
Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. Rules in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. <laughs>